welcome back to the Lexi Hair Channel. My name's Eastiana, and today's video is all about how to prevent dry hair and breakage. And this is a hot topic because winter is on its way, and if you're someone who usually suffers from dry hair during this time of year or the season, or just in general, keep on watching because we've got lots of tips on how to make sure that this is not a thing anymore. Let's get started. Okay, my number one biggest tip on preventing dry hair is to not wash your hair every single day. So your hair has natural oils in your scalp that naturally hydrate your hair and nourish your strands just naturally. And if you're washing your hair every single day, well, you're just stripping away that natural oil. So that's dry hair. One of the plus sides, if you will, of quarantine and this whole pandemic is it has allowed me to not wash my hair every day because I don't have to see people anymore. So now, like I used to wash my hair every other day, but now now I can go between two to three days between washing my hair, which is really great for my hair health. So if this is something that you haven't been focusing on and you do get dry hair, I would definitely try this, especially now, take advantage of the time where you don't have to see anyone, don't have to worry about showing up to work or school with insanely greasy hair and you can't really see it anyways on Zoom. On skip days or off days, on the days that I don't wash my hair, usually your hair is going to be a little bit greasier and those are the times that you're going to want your hair off your face like me. So I usually like to put my hair up in like a messy bun or a high ponytail. So lucky for us, Lexi Hair just launched these brand new gravity defying gentle hair ties. They look like these. There's no plastic and there's no rubber in these hair ties when you put your hair up. There's no pulling. It's really gentle on your hair, which is really important if you want to protect your hair from breakage and damage. So they're specially designed with these interlocking fibers. So that allows these hair ties to hold your hair up really high to find that gravity without pulling. So I love wearing these hair ties on my off days for updos, just gets my hair out of my face. And it still looks really good because your ponytail or your bun doesn't sag, which is a plus. Okay, heading back into the shower, it's a good idea always, if you wanna prevent dry or brittle hair, to rinse out your hair after you use the shampoo and conditioner with cool or cold water. This is definitely not pleasant, especially in the winter time, but the cold water will help revitalize and strengthen your hair and just kind of replenish that shine. So just for a minute or two, rinse out that hair with the cold water. You'll definitely find a difference. I also also recommend avoiding scalding hot water. Okay, if you tend to have really dry hair, then you probably also have a lot of split ends or your ends end up being really dry and it's probably the first thing that you notice that becomes dry around this time of year. So obviously, number one, you wanna make sure that you're getting regular trims going to your stylist or during this time, if that's not an option for you or going so often is not financially viable for you either, then learning to cut and trim your own ends, not giving yourself like a full haircut, but like just trimming those ends off is something that you can do for maintenance that really helps with not only the appearance but just the overall health of your hair so when you go to your stylist or when you do it yourself it's basically it's called the dusting and that's what you want to ask for and that can make a huge difference if you have really dry hair part of the big reason why we get split ends or your ends are the first place to get really dry is because they're the farthest place away from your natural hair oils. They're the last thing that gets that natural hair oil, so they're like the least hydrated. So to compensate for that and sort of make up for that lack of nourishment naturally, I always recommend using hydrating products like a hair mask or a hair oil and just concentrating that product always on your ends. And this makes a huge difference overall in making your hair look and feel less dry. Okay, what I like to call the intervention method if you are in the middle of a really dry hair crisis or like it's you get really staticky hair, you're just about to you know, hit that breaking point. This is called bagging, and you wanna do this one to two times per week. After or in the shower when your hair is wet, you wanna apply a deep conditioner or hair mask. So you wanna apply that product generously, and then to kinda of make sure that that product does an extra good job and you know, kind of give it that helping hand, what I like to do is twist my hair up, pin it up like this, and from my trusty Lexi Hair application kit, which looks like this, inside comes two little handy alligator clips they look like this and these are helpful just for keeping my hair pinned in place and then you're just gonna take a shower cap or a plastic wrap and then you're gonna leave the hair mask or deep conditioner in for the amount of time required so usually 10 to 20 minutes so by using the bagging method and covering your hair while it's got the product on it this is gonna open up your hair cuticles this is gonna maximize the conditioning agents to penetrate the hair follicle so you're just like maximizing the amount of conditioner and hydration and nourishment into your hair and your hair will absorb that hydration much better with this method than if you were just to leave it on your hair without a cover. So one to two times a week, try this at home and you'll see how much more effective your hair mask or deep conditioner is. 
Next up on preventing dry hair 101, you wanna be extra gentle with your hair and this is gonna avoid breakage and having brittle strands. Avoid using regular hair elastics. These are really harsh. It's just going to exaggerate the problem and you'll find that your hair breaks more easily. So instead, you definitely wanna use fabric scrunchies or fabric-based um, hair elastic. Lexi Hair has these gorgeous snag-free satin scrunchies. They look like this. The set comes in three beautiful, gorgeous, sort of rosy pink toned um, colors. So whenever I wanna throw my hair up in a bun or a ponytail or anything like that, I always opt for a silk or satin or fabric scrunchie like these. P.S. If you wanna nab your own set of snag-free satin scrunchies, the link is down below and you can shop that there. And if pink is not really your thing and you'd rather go for more of a neutral or chic sort of color scheme with your hair accessories, Lexi Hair also has these beautiful satin scrunchies these ones come with little bows and they're called the Dust to Dawn scrunchie set. Again, it comes in the Midnight Hour accessory collection. That whole collection also comes with these guys. Again, they're fabric, so they're gonna be super gentle on your hair and you know, not do any damage or break your hair at all. The Midnight Hour accessory collection comes with a bunch of other beautiful chic accessories. You're gonna love the whole thing. Keeping on that note of being super gentle with your hair, that goes for brushing too. So whenever you brush your hair, you wanna make sure that you're doing it very carefully, gently, and mindfully. So I always start brushing from the bottom up, never top to bottom, because that just like drags through your hair and causes you know breakage and rips out your hair, and it's just not a good idea. You also wanna avoid brushing your hair when it's wet too, because your hair at that point is very fragile. Something you may have not considered before, especially if you have already tried all the things I just talked about previously, or you normally practice these good maintenance hair um, tips and tricks, and it's just still you find your hair is dry and breaking. What could be the culprit here is that you might be losing extra hair moisture and hydration when your hair is drying. So if you normally just air dry your hair, sometimes this can be even more drying to your hair because you're losing, the air is just absorbing that extra moisture from your hair as it dries. And then you might find that your hair is just more brittle or difficult to style after you've air dried it. Wrap your hair after you wash it and it's wet and damp. Wrap your hair with a microfiber towel or a cotton t-shirt, not a regular towel. Wrap your hair gently and let your hair just dry and the moisture soak into the, t the microfiber towel or the t-shirt. And this way, the moisture is not just, you know, dissolving into the hair, leaving your strands super dry and brittle. If you really wanna use a blow dryer to dry your hair, so what I recommend doing is let your hair dry with method number one, again, wrapped in a microfiber towel or a t-shirt. Let your hair be dried 75% of the way, and once it's just a little bit damp, not overly damp, then you can pull out the hair dryer. Blow dry the remaining 25% of that dampness till your hair is fully dry, and then you're just gonna lock in that moisture with a blast of cold air from your blow dryer. This will seal off your cuticles closed and can definitely make a difference overall in keeping your hair less dry. Having nourished, healthy, glossy hair also comes from within, not just all these external outer sort of styling tips and things that you do on the outside. It also has to come within your body. So make sure that what you're putting in your body, especially during the winter time, is not making the problem worse. Try to incorporate more omega-3s and antioxidants into your diet. So that's incorporating more foods like walnuts, salmon, broccoli, kidney beans, tomatoes, blueberries, stuff like that. And of course, lots of water, lots of inner hydration, and that will in turn have an effect on your hair health overall. I don't recommend making any major dietary, like dramatic changes without consulting your doctor first. They might be able to recommend some other things that might be right for you specifically. Okay, before we round this video off, I just want to point out a few extra helpful guides and resources that you can check out if you'd like to hear more tips on just keeping your hair overall healthy and beautiful and shiny. Check out these other videos that we have on the Lexi Hair channel all about preventing dry hair, damaged hair, all of the things that you don't want happening to your hair. Be sure to watch those ones next. Okay, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let us know down in the comments below what is your biggest hair issue or hair problem. Would love to know what you'd like to hear tips on about next. Make sure to subscribe to the Lexi Hair channel for more hair content as always and we'll see you guys next one. Bye.